SUV races across Missouri. Oh my God, I'm scared to death. Her gas pedal is stuck. I'm coming up with a bunch of cars. I'm so scared. She hits the brakes. But with the 175 horsepower engine redlining at 7,000 RPMs, the brakes do nothing to slow the SUV. Police converge, hoping to warn other drivers ahead. But with speeds nearing 120, they struggle to even keep pace. It's time to buckle up. Grab the wheel and see if you have what it takes to steer clear of certain death. What would you do? A. Use the emergency brake and steer onto the shoulder. B. Jam the car into neutral. Or C. Turn off the engine. Here's what you should consider. Your brake pedal is useless and you're screaming down the highway at 120 miles per hour. That's like falling toward the earth at terminal velocity. At this breakneck speed, every 1.7 seconds, you're covering the length of an entire football field. If the highway was clear, you might have a chance. But with rush hour approaching, the traffic ahead will only get worse. Make your choice. So, what would you do? Useless. You might choose to engage the emergency brake and steer onto the shoulder to slow your momentum. Engaging the e-brake at normal speeds can make the rear wheels lock up sending a driver into a dangerous fishtail. And you're going over 110. Even if you manage to maintain control, trying to use the rough terrain of the shoulder will only make a bad problem worse. Into a death roll. So if you chose to use the emergency brake and steer onto the shoulder, you've made a deadly mistake. You could turn off the engine and try to steer it to safety. But is this really your best move? Turn off the ignition and the steering wheel could lock. As you decelerate, you'd be unable to change direction, leaving you helpless to avoid the inevitable. If you chose to turn off your engine, you'd be locking in your fate. If you want to survive this terrifying death ride, the best thing to do is jam the car into neutral. By disengaging the transmission, you disconnect the gears that join the motor to the axles. Even though your engine will continue to race out of control by putting the car in neutral, you've cut off its ability to accelerate your vehicle forward. Apply firm, steady pressure to the brakes. With the engine no longer powering the drive shaft, the vehicle's brake system can now slow the SUV, allowing you to bring this deadly ordeal to an end. Jam the car into neutral. That's what you do if you don't want to die.